Drop it. So for today, I'm going to discuss about Java arrays. Let's start with the definition. Arrays are used to store multiple values in a single variable instead of declaring separate variables for each value. Uh, we have different types of arrays in Java. We have number one, a single dimensional array. Second is that we have a two dimensional array. Now, how do we declare an array in Java? So we have here the syntax. First thing is that you could start with a data type followed by open and close bracket and then the array name that you're going to use. Or you could have the data type, space, and bracket, and then the array name. Or you could have the data type, the array name, and open and close brackets here. Now, we also have what you call instantiations of arrays in Java, wherein we have the array reference, array reference variable is equal to new data type and then the size. So let's demonstrate how array works in Java. Let me open up my NetBeans. So I already created here our class, which is called Array1. Now let's start to create. So the program that I'm going to create here is a simple program. Uh, okay. Program, sorry. Program to demonstrate the use of static array. So let's start with our public static void main. And then here, we're going to declare an array. Now, since I mentioned it will be a static array, so we will be having the default set of values. So let's have your integer a, open and close bracket, is equals to, open and close curly brace, semicolon, Inside the curly braces, we're going to have here the values. Let's say 10, 20, 30, 40, and then 50. So I have declared here an array of integers, okay? Integer arrays. Next, what I'm going to do here is to display the values of our array. Now, to do that, we need to have a loop but let's say we do it manually how do we create it using or displaying it manually all you need to do is to display the values here and then you could access each element here so by default okay this one here we have an address of zero which is our index and then this is one two three and then four so in order for us to display the value of 10, what we need to do here is let's say print line A, open and close bracket, and then inside the bracket, you specify here the address, let's say 0 here. So this line here will able to print out the value of 10. So let's copy and paste this code. Let's do it four more times. Two, three, four. Okay, that's it. And then all we need to do is to replace the values here, okay? So the numbers indicates the position where the values, uh, the position, and then we will be able to print out the values. So here, we will print out the value of zero, uh, not zero rather, but 10. This will print out 11 and so on. So let's test the output. So let's move this line here and then run our codes. Now if you look closely here in our output area, there you see 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. So with this code, we are accessing, printing out the values reference to our address here. Now, so it's tedious for us to do it manually. So if in case you'll be working with arrays, you need to work with loops. So let's erase this line of code. Okay, now let's put it inside the loop. So what are we going to do? Let's start with a for loop. Four open parentheses. Let's say integer i is equals to zero. Now take note, we started with zero here. 
So our counting, uh, our counting starts with zero, by the way. Okay, semicolon, and then i less than five, then i plus plus. Okay. So open and close, curly brace, and then here we're going to print out the values. So s out. Then we're going to display here. So what's the array name a? Open and close bracket, and then inside the bracket we're going to place here the variable letter i. So the i will be used to in reference to the uh, values here. So we started with 0, so we print out 0, which is 10. Then we increment again, we print out 1. Then we print out, that's, that's 20, 3, 4, 5, until such time that i is less than 5. Okay? So let's run the code again. Right-click run. And we still have the same output. Now, these are for integer arrays. What about for, let's say, character? It's the same thing. So let's de de declare a character. Let's say character x, okay? And then here, I'm going to declare characters, let's say, e, l, l, and then o. Okay, now what we're going to do is that we're going to display now all the characters. So it's the same process. Okay, let's have a for loop here. Okay, so let's start with for i in i is equals to zero. i less than five, then i plus plus. Okay, so instead of using a here, what we're going to use is we're going to use the array x and then i, okay? So that will allow us to print the values of the character declaration here. So this is now character array. So let's run our code, run. So as you can see here, we're able to print out the values of our array. So this is program number one, demonstrating how to use static array. So that's all for today. Thank you. Bye.